Hello, welcome fellow YouTubers and animators, riggers, 3D artists, and today we will be talking about the pose editor. So when I first attempted to use it um, back in 2017 when it was introduced, uh, I think in my 2016 extension, whatever, it worked pretty well. Um, but since then I came across a few problems, especially with rigged characters. Um, I had to create a character for a game and it had, uh, I used the Maya's um, HIK system and suddenly I couldn't use it and I kept on getting all these errors. I'm going to show you the problems I had and I just couldn't find anything written on the internet. After reading the documentation, uh, how I got this to work. So. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so here I have a very simple setup, um, just uh, IK chain um, that is set up. So if I grab my character over here and I move the arm, you can see it works just like we expected to. So it's you know, simple. So the issue is that basically these um, joints have uh, controllers on them. So if you have controllers on the joint, the main problem that you're gonna have is that when you run um, the pose, uh, pose editor, it's gonna say, wait a minute, these joints are already being controlled and I can't do it. So this is how you get around it. So firstly, I'm in 2018. I am uh, going to go to uh, Pose uh, Setup um, Workspace. Uh, let me just, uh, basically when you open it for the first time, it looks like this. Um, can I reset it? File, let's see. Default. So everything should be a default. So um, let me just show you that message. So I'm going to grab that and just go create pose. And you get this message saying, hey, you know, uh, everything's this, you know, some of the um, rotation translations are being manipulated by another object. So what you can do at this stage is basically say, um, no, thank you, and close it. But it did create a setup for you. Notice that there's nothing in here, but the joint has been chosen and added into the list. And we want this. Now you can see here in my channel box over here that these are actually locked. All right, so how do we fix this? How do we tell um, the pose deformer um, that um, when we put sort of like a um, initial state to it, if I double click to go back to its um, bind pose, Right, because that's what you want to do. You want to basically be able to double click and have it go back to its its bind pose. So to do that, we basically got to tell Maya that instead of using these rotations, um, use uh, the controller's rotations. So to do that, we could all right click. I think and initially you can right click and then call this up, but for me it's hiding underneath here and it's called a drive settings, right? So if I need to add a drive setting here, so I grab my joint here and you can see that it says joint and then it says add over here. So how do I add that? So I grab my controller, in this case it's gonna be my IK controller, and um, I'm gonna go and open my outliner so we can all click on this icon here and this will come up floating and I'm just gonna press while my mouse is floating over the outliner, F, and it's gonna choose, gonna show me in the outliner, my left wrist control. Now the problem is that I can't see its rotation, basically these attributes here. I need to grab these attributes, kind of drag and drop it into here. So the way we're gonna do that is very simple, is we're gonna to go to display, I'm gonna scroll down all the way down to where it says attribute channels, and you'll see it's gonna add a plus next to our control here. I'm gonna open it and get all the attributes that we can use. 
So now all I need to do is scroll down and find translation and rotation. So what I need to do is open up both of these, press add, you get this little window, and just middle mouse click, drag and drop each one of these in. So yes, it's manual and it's annoying, but this will work and you'll see in a minute how cool this is. So I'm just going to move my outliner onto my other screen so you won't be able to see it, but it will be out the way. Um, I actually add twist to that. Um, all right, so now we need to kind of create a neutral pose. So just right click on the empty area here uh, and then go create neutral pose. So what that will do is now if I grab this and move my hand anywhere and double click neutral, it will go back and we all good. Cool? Awesome. So we got that now to work. So uh, basically what I want to do now is create kind of a blend shape um, to fix some of the issues that I'm getting with, uh, with the arm. Let's say when the arm is down here in this pose, uh, it's called the down pose. I want to kind of fix the the shoulder here. It doesn't look very nice. I want to kind of sculpt it. So uh, let's do that. Uh, so when my arm is down, um, I'm going to create that. So uh, I'm going to go press add pose. And I'm just going to reset this so everything's back to its normal stage. Um, so it's asking for a name. So I want this blend shape uh, underscore show. Oops, shoulder. Uh, All right, don't mind my spelling, I'm very dyslexic, but it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just gonna press uh, create and I get this error and nothing happens. So why did that happen? So if we open up the script editor, it's basically saying, Oh, like, you know, the vertices don't match, something, 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 something. So the reason that this is happening is what Maya is trying to do is, is uh, look at the bind pose, uh, duplicate the mesh, and then try to ver match the vertices. Um, the new blend shape uh, system doesn't work like the old one where it would do one to one. Um, now it kind of does an approximation of where the vertices are, and if it doesn't exactly match, uh, it kind of has trouble doing that. So um, it's basically to do with the hierarchy of where it places the blend shape. So if we go to the blend shape editor, you could see it did create a blend shape, but it couldn't create the target node for it. So I'm going to delete this blend shape. I'm going to go back here. So again, I go into the blend shape, just delete it by pressing the little trash can over there. Uh, we'll go away. So let's do this again. But this time, I'm going to just go to after. So I want this after the entire hierarchy because there's a skin node. There's all kind of other things that are going around because I did skinning. Uh, we just tell it to be at the end of chain and then go create and then voila, we get the we get the creation that we wanted. So notice it says edit. It's in it's in red. That means I can sculpt. So let's just do that quickly. Uh, let's just grab one of the sculpt brushes. Uh, this one's pretty big, so um, uh, I'm just going to scale it down to scale everything down. Press B, scale it back up. There we go. And then let's just soften this out. Soft, soften, soften. Uh, grab tool maybe. Yeah, grab tool. Uh, let's pull that back. So we can basically sculpt this whole thing. Um, let's go back here. I'm going to actually make this a lot stronger. Uh, so, all right. There we go. Let's say this is brilliant. Actually, I like it that it's a little weird, just so we can see that it works. Um, all right, so I'm going to do stop the edit there. And now the cool thing is I can double click there. It will go to a default, double click here. It will go back to where it was, go back to sculpt, blah, 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 blah. Uh, all right, so let's test this out now. 
if I grab my controller here and move it around, you'll see as I go down, we're getting that weird dimple, right, that I made. So there you go. We may basically made this work um, using Maya's uh, very weird but useful tools. Uh, there we go. Uh, that flipping there is due to a rotation order thing, so don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, I bid you adieu, uh, and I hope this was a helpful video uh, for all of you guys and girls in the internet. Cheerio. Thank you.